Hi everyone, my name is Sana. Welcome back to my plant YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show off my little planty haul that I did. I'm really excited about all of these plants. Um, <laughs> even though I brought them into a house riddled with mealybugs, I'm going to treat them and hopefully they'll survive, especially since some of them are more uncommon. So I'm, I, so I need to do some treatment. Um, not like treatment, but like, you know, make them where they'll thrive in the situation. So for example, this is my painted lady that I got. And I think she needs a little stake to help her out. So I'm just gonna pop this bad boy in here. And she's not tall enough to be attached yet, but then that way I remember. <laughs> so yeah, this is a painted lady. I, oh my gosh, so pretty. I was so surprised that like this store had them. They had a lot of more uncommon plants. And I've wanted a painted lady ever since I watched Wild Fern's video when she first got hers. And now hers is so big and beautiful. And I highly doubt that mine will be because I don't use moss poles. But still, <laughs> who knows? Maybe I can get them to grow up on planks and stuff still. Who knows? We'll see. <gasps> But yeah, so this is the Painted Lady. I'm very, very, very excited about this plant. It does look like it used to have scale or something. Like I said, diatomaceous earth and pest treatments will help. And also, this plant has a little predatory bug in it. And as long as it stays in there, I'm fine. But if it ever leaves the pot, I'm not fine anymore. So, yeah. And I see him crawling around right now. I was thinking of naming him Fred. But Fred will be dead if he leaves this pot. I do not like bugs, but this is okay. Next up, I have uh, Philodendron Squamiferum. And this is another one I'm extremely excited about. He is extremely top-heavy. So he needs some support, like today, right now. I just don't want to ruin his roots. So this will go here, and then my squirmiferum can climb up. But yeah, mealybug central. I'm already seeing one on here. So frustrating. I literally got these not even that long ago, and I'm already seeing a mealybug on this one, and then another one that I've had for a little bit longer. But I want to update you on the plants that I've gotten. <laughs> Good and bad. Um, hopefully everything will be good once I treat them. It'll be soon. It'll be soon. Once all the plants that I ordered will come in. Because I ordered some good ones like the Monstera Subbanata and an Obliqua. An Obliqua. I'm getting an Obliqua. So that's really exciting. <laughs> but yeah, next up is my, <laughs> my Sissus Discolor. And this is one that is not rare but it's very fast growing and I, ever since I watched a plantarina video on like fast growing plants and she showed off her sissus, I was like, wow, that's a cool plant. But I, you know, I was never going to order it online personally, but if I ever saw one in store, I would have happily grabbed it and, you know, bought it. And sure enough, that day was the day where I saw it. And this plant, I took some cuttings from already because it had some vines with abrupt endings. And I was like, all right, because right now this is a singular vine. And I'd like to fill up the pot a little bit more. I'd love to do that with all of the plants so I have a little bit more insurance, especially this bad boy. But, you know, for now, beggars can't be choosers. I mean, the Adansonia already has a friend growing out of it. So I should just take a cutting from it, honestly, and then pot it back in. But eventually, so yeah, this is the Sissus Discolor, and eventually I want to get one of those little trellises for it to grow on. But for right now, he can trail. He'll be fine. Next up is the Adamsonii, as I was alluding to. But yeah, I see two mealybugs crawling on it, so that's awesome. Um, especially since it has lots of cranks and crevices. Now I want to peek inside the sheaths to see if I can see anything. But yeah, so it has a little friend growing here. Oh, it has another shoot coming in. That's why this leaf is dying off. Okay. But yeah, so it has another little growth spike here coming in. And then I'm going to peel off this leaf too because it's on its way out. I'm just going to make it happen faster. 
Yeah, and it, I have it actually attached to um, my plant shelf, and I'm just using that as like its stake up. So it has put out some really nice sized leaves. I'm really impressed with it, but now it's growing above my grow light, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> but yeah, so this is my Edinsonia. It is doing well-ish. Like I said, there's some mealybug action on here, but within the next week or so, hopefully they'll all be treated and it'll be fine. I just, it's so frustrating. Wait, let me see here real quick. I think I see some. Nope, okay, I thought there, I saw some hiding in the sheath. But yeah, and then last but not least, is this Raphidophora, I mean, yeah, Raphidophora, hey, 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 hey. And I've always wanted, like, the dubia and the hay. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the names, but I've always wanted them. So these were on sale because they didn't attach it to, like, the plank properly. So all the leaves were getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and the vines were everywhere. So I chopped them from where, like, it looked like it was done. It wasn't attaching and shingling anymore. So now this is what it looks like, and I have a bunch of cuttings, so we'll see how many of them do well, but I mean, I could probably fit maybe two more on each side, and I have it facing this way, so it gets grow light action from both sides, um, so hopefully that works out, because it's like, I could have had it this way, but then this one wouldn't have had any light. I do like this side better, so this is the side that I have facing where I can see more. Um, just because the leaves are bigger, even though this one, it, it's more shingled nicely, but, <clears throat> you know, we'll see. But yeah, so I really am happy to finally have a shingler, because I have so many, like, boards and planks for them to grow up, <laughs> so it'll be nice to finally be able to utilize them. And I think also even the plastic cups, which I sell my plants in, that'll be really good because they can grow up the side of the plastic shelf. It's a mosquito. But yeah, they can grow up the side of a plastic shelf, which will really, you know, be good for them. So, <clears throat> um, lose my voice. But yeah, so these are the plants that I hauled from a real store and I didn't buy online. And then once all my plants that I bought online come in, then I will do a haul with those as well. I don't even remember what all the names are. Do I? Subpanata, Silta. Oh, I remember all of them. Yeah, they're all, it's a Monstera haul, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure each and every one of them was a Monstera. But that's okay. I just, I don't know. I haven't, all of the philodendron I want right now are quite expensive. And I got a bunch of, like, I got two of the philodendron I want. But, I don't know. <laughs> The one I, the philodendron I probably want the most is like Melanochrysum, and that is something I don't think I'll ever get because they're very fickle. And then I also want Varicosum, but those attract spider mites and are super expensive, so I don't want to get them right now. Unless things go incredibly right for me. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!